Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here and you've never seen my face before, hi, my name is Joe and this is my channel. In today's video, we're going to do kind of like a mixture of things. There were some things I found over this past week. Sorry, I've not uploaded. I have been super busy between schoolwork, doing a little shopping here and there, cleaning, and of course getting my second COVID vaccine yesterday. So it's been a little hectic in my life, but hopefully this week I can upload more and we can do more talks. In today's video, we're going to be doing a, I'm going to show you some things that I bought, talk about some things, some things I have used. Um, my skincare routine is coming and updated. I'm waiting on some stuff in the mail to try, so we'll see what that happens, and I'll get more into that in the video. Um, yep, yeah. and then I'm going to get into some pH balance routines, a little more in depth of what you can use, what you can deal with, that type of thing. So, without further ado, let's get into this video. Okay, so some things I have bought. It's kind of like a mixture of things. I'm going to talk about each thing. And we're in the video talking about pH balance. So the first thing I picked up was the CeraVe AM Facial Moisturizing Lotion. My OG is the one that is for oily skin. But I'm trying this one because it is more of a more hydrating. This is what it looks like. I've tried it a couple times. I like it so far. Again, it's the CeraVe Facial Moisturizing Lotion AM Broad Spectrum SPF 30. Um, it It's not greasy, which is what's key for me. It's not greasy. I mean, I use it this morning. I'm a little broken right now because I'm still trying things with my skincare routine. Keep you guys updated on that. But yes, this is the face moisturizer I'm trying. It's for normal to dry skin. I have more oily combination type skin. So I'm hoping it works because I really like it so far. So this is what the first thing that I picked up. Another thing I picked up I'm get those here in a minute is some more exfoliating gloves. Tree Hut scrubs are amazing. So I have oily skin from head to toe. Literally oily acne prone skin so it's hard to find things that actually work. There's a trick with these. If you take these and you put your Dove Bar Soap in them it actually foams up very nicely and it can really help with that as well. Um, I use these mainly for tree hut products, so like their exfoliators, um, a body care routine will be coming soon. I'll get more into detail about all that. But if you have acne prone, oily skin, these are wonderful. They're like $4 and you get two of them at Walmart. Okay, when I did my oral hygiene, which I'm going to have an updated oral hygiene for you guys coming out soon. I said that I picked up the white strips. Here they are. They're not been opened yet. The Crest 3D white strips. I got the classic white. I got the cheaper pack because they're kind of pricey. These were like $18, but I want to show you guys those. Okay, so I have not been able to find this anywhere right now except for like um, pharmacies. I picked up the Aveeno Restorative Skin Therapy oat repairing cream for your body. I use this once. It's pretty good. Um, I kind of flip-flop with my moisturizers at night because I like to use not so fragranced high. I mean I'll use Jergens, but this is also very good. Um, Aveeno is very good for acne prone oily skin. So I will sometimes use this at night. I wanted to show you guys that. I also picked up the Aveeno Skin Therapy Itch Relief Balm that goes with it because it was like 40% off. I found these at Walgreens. They were running a little special. This is what it looks like. It's not been used yet, but it looks like it has. It's supposed to help with itching. I will try it and let you guys know. I also found my favorite Puma Stone. World's best Puma Stone. This is sold at Walmart. Get your hands on it. It is so good. It has two sides to it. It has the major side and then it has the smoothing side. So it has the rough side then it has the smooth side. These are real cheap but you can find them at Walmart. I think you can even find them at Target. I'm not sure. Now I have a little collection of face masks that I want to show you guys. So this is the Witch Hazel and Tea Tree Face Mask by Nature. I found these at Walmart. This is the vitamin C and collagen. Matter of fact, I got two of each because me and my mom like doing face masks on pamper nights. Um, the vitamin E, calm and restore, vitamin E, calm and restore again. Um, Unicorn Glow, 
hologram mask. That was an interesting find. I also have another one I found at Ulta. Collagen Hydrogel Gold Mask. I got two of those. So that's kind of like my mask collection. I have one from Freeman. That's just a basic charcoal mask. I also found a little brush for your toes. I have watched so many YouTubers talk about the care of your toes. Your feet, clean them real good because no one likes stinky feet. So get, get you one of these. I found this at Target or my Walmart has not had them in forever. So get you some of those. I also picked up this stretch washcloth. I just thought it looked kind of cool, so I was like, I'll pick it up. But it's a stretch washcloth. It's kind of gritty, so I think it's more like an exfoliating type. So, yes, get you some of that. And that stuff will wait until the end when I talk about feminine hygiene. So, something I picked up at Target that I have only tried once and kind of liked it. Well, no, this was picked up at Walmart, but the sick... Chic Hydro Silk looks like this. It's pretty good. Um, it's a close shave. Um, definitely something I'll keep in my collection. Um, it says on the box, Lasting Hydration Hypoallergenic Formula. And it comes with a refill. Um, I also picked up this two-pack Satin Care with Aloe. You can find this at Target. I have been on the hunt for this from Target. They finally had it. Um, that's some good shave gel. Now, the one I tried for the first time that I actually like is the Flamingo. It's the foaming shave gel conditions. This stuff smells amazing. It leaves a less scent. It leaves your face feeling smooth. Definitely check this out at Target. I've not tried their razors yet, but I do like their shave gel. It was the last one when I went there. And that's leading into feminine care. So we're going to save that bag for the ending. Um, so instead of pick go, let's go through this stuff first. Um, some stuff that, some random stuff I've picked up here and there. I picked up the Indian Healing Clay. It's like a mask, I do believe. Um, I've seen someone on YouTube a long time ago talk about it. I finally found it. World's most powerful facial deep pore cleansing. Thought of trying it as like a little mask. Pretty cool. Um, I picked this up, but I have not tried it yet. Um, I'm still developing a skincare routine. But it is the Healthy Skin Neutrogena Broad Spectrum SPF 15. Don't know if I'll get into it. Not sure. Um, I also picked up this foot wand. So it's got a brush, a little get some dead skin off and whatnot. Um, I got one from mom as well. As, as you know, we're going to start caring for our foot care. Some Febreze wax melts. These smell amazing. I have the fresh already in my room, but these are the gain scent. Get you some of these. Chloe Yasmin put me onto those. Also, something I have been trying is the aluminum free deodorant. I have read that aluminum free is good. So far so good. Um, this is the lavender and I also got the, let's see if I have it in here, the cotton. The cotton I will do a first impression of. I just bought this the other day. Mm, that smells good. That smells really good. But yes, aluminum free. And I also picked up, just in case I want to try one of these, the Degree and Dove Aluminum Free. The Degree is Calming Lavender. This is Lavender and Vanilla Scent Aluminum Free. Um, I kind of smelled them in the store, but let's go ahead and smell them. That smells good. It smells kind of perfumey on the lavender on the Degree. Let's smell the Dove. Mm, that smells clean. So definitely pick up some of those if you're out and about. Another thing that's interesting that I found, I have the Christmas scents that I got for like 70 cents, but these are the Find Your Happy Place After the Rain Body Lotion. I think they're like knockoffs of like Bath and Body Works and stuff. Um, the two scents I got is Blush Rose and Magnolia and White Birch and Jasmine. Alright, that'll lead into feminine care. Alright, so some things I picked up today, 
Um, in case I don't like the Schick razor, I got this Venus S Deluxe Smooth Swirl. The reason why I like a little more advanced razors is because I have such sensitive skin on my face and it does not irritate Gillette Venus or Schick. They do not irritate the face and um, I'm one of the few guys that actually shaves their armpits because all that hair down there can create so much odor. It can make your de deodorant ball up. It's just not good. So I shave that as well. So those are some good ones to have. Um, okay, I picked up this Stubborn Acne AM Treatment 2.5% Microbized um, Benzoyl Peroxide because I'm actually waiting on a package to come in from Paula's Choice. They're going to send me a little more higher um, percentage one. Um, when that comes out, I'll let you guys know, and then I'll put together a skincare routine for that. And I picked up a big bottle of the blue... Listerine to try. Alright, now the whole part of the video is now over. So now that I have one over everything, let's get into feminine care. So I'm probably one of the only guys in the history of the world that has to use a feminine wash. Because if I don't, I itch down there, it's horrible. Well, right now I'm battling a rash. I mean, it's just horrible. So all these products I'm going to talk about help with that. My wash I use, I use the Vagisil pH Balance. This helps with the itching because when body wash gets down there, for some reason, it just itches and it itches and it itches. It's not something I like to talk about because it's very embarrassing. But it's something I'll talk to you guys about because some people may struggle with this. Again, get the pH Balance Vagisil. This stuff does have fragrance, but it's packed with a bunch of good stuff. So this will help keep your pH balanced down there. Wash all around it. I'm, I wash everywhere, the back and the front. It keeps me smelling good because I hate stinking. It's my pet here. That's why I have so much Bath and Body Works stuff. I love smelling good because I've taken my hygiene very serious since I've been in college. High school, not so much. I wasn't too worried about smelling good. I still wear my Bath and Body Works because unlike a lot of people, I cannot stand men's scents. It does not drive with me. It does not smell good to me. I can't wear it. It does not make me feel like who I am. So yes, I wear a lot of women's scents, which is okay. And it does not make you gay, does not make you weird, does not make you not less of a man it makes you a man because you're caring about your hygiene and you're using what you like so use what you like don't let no one tell you that you cannot use what you like and what you want to use because you think you're weird it does not mean that I spent so many years thinking I was gay thinking I was weird thinking I need to not go to school because I use women's sense no and there'll be a future video of something else I want to share with you guys that doesn't make you weird or anything. And that's the reason why I've created this channel, is to show you guys that we're all different, and we all like different things, and that is okay. So again, I go in with the wash. Then, for the treatment of the rash, I got put onto this OMV Bikini Anti-Itch Serum. This helps with the itching when it inflames. And this helps with it as well. This has collodial oatmeal in it, which is very good. It is very, very, very good for rashes. I get rashes because of the different body washes I use, so it all goes down there. I break out, and I do shave down there to keep the, or just trim, to keep the odor good down there so it does not stink. Because again, stinking is not what you want to do down there at all and I can't remember there it is okay another thing I'm gonna be trying for down there for the rash when the rashes come up with the fragrance is this now the trim down there I tried their razor did not work broke me out in the razor bumps it was bad so I'll just continue trimming down there but I did get the Venus daily soothing serum I'm going to try this out and I'll let you guys know how that works. And then to really smell fresh down there, after all that, put on some powder. Baby powder works good as well. You can use baby powder. I don't have any around me at the moment, but you can use baby powder. I like the Vagisil Odor Block Deodorant Powder. It just makes me smell good down there. No stench, nothing. So again, if you're a guy and you don't like the smell down there, any of these products are safe. You don't have to use the serums because... 
Mine only happen when I trim or when fragrance gets down there too much and I don't rinse it off good enough, I break out in a rash. So again, anyone can use these. These are so good to use um, and it can really help with your pH balance, your odor, your rashes, and can help you smell good so that way you're good. That is all for this video. Um, I enjoy doing this. I enjoy talking. I'm hoping I can start reviewing some of this stuff for you guys. I'll have some review videos coming, a skincare routine coming, an updated oral hygiene coming, of the different things I'm trying. So I will let you guys know. If you are not already part of the fam, go ahead and like the video if you like it. Comment what type of videos you guys want to see. Any encouraging words. No negativity, please. We like to keep things positive on here. Subscribe to my channel. Let's get some subscribers so we can reach people. And so we can just talk and have fun. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.